day two, Palm Tree Lagoon. Um, Dan Zach's not quite made it. We had a few beers last night. I'm feeling pretty fresh. Nailed uh, some electrolytes and some water. It was up till quite late though, probably after midnight. Oz is around the corner here, poaching. This is where Dan had his big black shark minnow and uh, a rohu yesterday. They were the only two carp species landed. Apart from that, it was uh, Spy, Mekong, one Mekong. Um, and Oz had uh, quite a few fish where where I am today on a predator rod. So I've decided to have a predator rod. Um, popped a macro, grabbed some chicken hearts and gizzards and stuff and, and some, some chicken fillet. Um, and uh, hopefully to get some get some bites on that. Uh, still never had a Salloween uh, catfish. Never had a Salloween catfish. And there's a couple of others. Got the firewood and a few other bits and pieces. So uh, um, we'll uh, we'll have another chance and uh, hopefully get a bend in the rod. We'll see how it goes. Well, first cast alongside the uh, the weeds where Oz was catching yesterday and. Uh, I think we got a red tail. Um, Oz put his rod into the spot where Dan had his black shark minnow yesterday, over here, and they're just putting back a lovely rohu carp. So uh, it's a nice fast start. Let's hope it keeps going. I think we got a red tail here. I think it's a red tail. Whoa. Yeah. Here we go. She's in the net. Red tail somewhere around. Oh, maybe approaching 30 pound. Yeah. Get in. Well, he's bigger than I thought. Lovely fish. Look at that. Looks like Dan. In a red tail <laughs> form. Let's <laughs> see how lively she is. Oh, easy, easy. Oh, I am. No, no. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Skipped across the map. Come on. Come on. Yeah. That fish is heavy. It's lovely. Okay. Lovely stuff. Brilliant. Thank you. Ooh. Second cast, Salloween Rita. <laughs> He's bang on. <laughs> Hmm. I'm desperate to get a Salloween reeter and uh, when you when you really want a fish, you often believe it is one, even though you you sort of know it's not. Oh, he's up and under the hyacinth. <coughs> so strong, aren't they? So strong. Something inside so strong. <coughs> Keep your pump short. Keep the rod in front of yourself. <coughs> That's where the strength is. Yeah, and they're little and they're, they're, they're strong, aren't they? Do a leg leg. Little bugger. There we go. Two casts, two fish. Okay. Lovely. Thank you very much. Smaller fish, that one. Fish about yeah, yeah. 25 pound. Yeah. We'll let okay. it back a bit better. There we, go. there we go. Cast number three. Just been chucking a few bits of chicken in to the area there just before the hyacinths and uh, Hooked a fish that didn't know it was hooked for a while, so I reckon this got a feeling with the weight of it, it's quite a big red tail. 
Good fun though. I thought it was a big alligator to start with. Did nothing and then he woke up. Heavy. Fat and heavy. Just like me. Very often big fish don't really do an awful lot. Smaller ones can be livelier. More active. It is a red tail. Yep. Just seen the customary red tail feature. Oh, he's, he's in our areas. Okay. <coughs> he's angry. <laughs> oh no! And now he's back out again. Oh. Like good fish. There she is. Wow. Well done. One. Big one, yes. Woohoo! Mm, Cracking fish that. One there. Uh, sort of 50 pounds, 25 kilo. Sort of size. Cheers. Do you want to get in a photo? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, lovely, that's lovely. Hey, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> mm. Lovely. Oh, it's heavy. No. <laughs> Cast number four, fish number four, not a red tail, I think. This time on the uh, heart, liver, and gizzards. Number four, in forecast, willing feeders, the red tails, good fun. Different shapes, almost got a bit of a leopard small mouth, mouth to it. Well. Yeah, small mouth, yeah. Not like me. Whoa, another absolute cough up, mate, they're getting heavier. <laughs> ah. <laughs> lovely. Okay. okay, lovely. Another fish that has to be. Look at that. Got to be 20 kilo, isn't it? Maybe more. Whew. Four cash, four red tails, two fish, either 50 pound or approaching it, one about 40, another about 25. I was in this little corner here, I chucked a few bits of chicken breast in there, but I've just lobbed it out into the open water, hoping to catch something that's not going to pull my arms off. Absolutely shattered. But, uh, oh, lovely though. What do you get on the bank? See their guts. Huge fish. Really been eating well. Gotta lie down. 
Fish on. Maybe I didn't cast it far enough away from those red tails. I think they found it. I'll check out the open water a bit more, I think. Cast five. Fifth fish. Probably another red tail. Yeah. Oh yeah. Another one. Thirty odd pound. Here we go. We gotta let that one go. Okay. Well done. What a cracking fish. Nice one. Well, I had the nerve to go back and fish on into Red Tail Corner uh, after having a bit of a rest. So, had the bait out in open water for a while. Uh, without much happening, decided to uh, have the bottle to go back into Red Tail Corner and uh, surprise, surprise, another one's pulling my arms off. Okay, red tail number six. Superb. Another fish that's probably 35, 38 pound. They are strong. Good job, red tail. See you later. Superb. Morning. It's uh, day two. Palm tree lagoon. And uh, 9.30 in the morning, um, we had a bit of a late night last night drinking and, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I've had a lie-in today, so uh, I'm fishing the pontoon swim, so I'll be there in about 10 minutes, so I'm walking up the road and uh, I'll have breakfast waiting for me, I should imagine, and uh, I'll be fishing by 10 o'clock, so I missed a couple of hours, but um, Oz sent me a picture of yeah, an ESOC, there's his first ESOC out of uh, Palm Tree, down on, on the banker spot. Very, good, very nice, I think probably a PB as well actually. Um, I'm not sure what help he's had yet. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to get there and uh, catching some fish. I'm going to have a go on the float today as well. A float uh, up in the water, the ball, not something I ever really fish. So I'll ask Mac or Sue, whoever I'm with today, set one up exactly how they set it up at the lake and uh, I'll have a go on that hopefully I'll catch something different probably catch a Mekong but it'd be nice to catch a big Siamese on it as well so yeah anyway get back to the walk yeah please you're gonna take me you take me you go here yeah no <laughs> I thought it was a bar bus uh, I thought he was gonna take me uh, to uh, palm tree I was only doing it for the purposes of the film this palm tree is literally there. I was going to get in, give him 10 baht and drop me off. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll get in, mate. And he was like, no, no, you're not getting in. <laughs> oh, well. Never mind. <laughs> Almost there. That's where I've come from, right down there. By those traffic lights. No. 10, 15 minute walk. Anyway, goats over there. And we're just walking into palm tree this morning it's a night there's a sign there there's john there's john rv john rv there's rv with a big carp there and a mekong i oh, know sorry that's a uh yeah it's a mekong oh that's no, a chop wire and then a mekong on the left and a arab primer this one i think get there late and uh bag up garbage truck so just arrived in the peg and I said, I'm gonna fish the, the float today. It's not a method I normally fish. So Mac is an expert at this method. So he's got a massive ball and nothing on the hook. So he's gonna whack it out there for us as well. Go on. Okay. 
Okay. Nice one. <clears throat> I'll have a go at myself in a bit, but for now, I'm just gonna copy what he's doing, really. That's uh, 9.53. I'm late for breakfast, but thankfully, kindly enough, it's cooked me one I've got here still, which is awesome. Gosh, got one rod out at the moment. <clears throat> the ball up in the water. <clears throat> I had a load of bait just down by this bamboo, just down, just down the edge, and uh, and some seed mix as well. I'm going to put a pop up. Well, only just popped up off the bottom. I'm going to put that down there. Hopefully, catch someone like a black shark minnow. Um, I'm going to have another rod out in open water there. I'm going to have one off the high sims and one over there. That's the plan to start with anyway, and the ball. So, give it a go. Love it, yeah. Okay. Lovely. Literally, they should just put this rod out and uh, got a bite on it straight away. It's probably a swire, because they often, as Harvey pointed out yesterday. Yeah, this is why. Molocot. Molocot. Yeah, that's right. Molocot. why but they're slimy <clears throat> These are sharp fins, you've got to be careful. So the best thing to do is, as Harvey pointed out, you have to help grip the tail and grip the fin, stretch them out. And you start good doing that, get one of those fins in it. Anyway, nice fish to start. Molochot catfish. Tight line vibes, nice. Oh, oh I started a run, but I didn't, didn't know Mac told me about the run, because uh, I forgot to put my bite alarm back on. I was messing about with the bite alarm. I think it might be a Siamese. Nice. Seems alright. It's all massive. I think this, is one, this one's on a pop up out towards the uh, aerator over there. Sweating absolute buckets. It's about 40 degrees today. First bite on this rod. Second cast. Oh fucking fuck. hell! Shit! Look, pulled out. I caught you. <laughs> Shit. Hello. Never mind. Maybe get another one. Fire! I think we've hooked. What looked like an elephant ear garami on the corn rod. Mimi. 
Yes, well done, Reggie, well done. There she is. Right, the elephant here, I'm not sure. Yeah. There's a girl. I think there's only two in the lake. And it's uh, one of the elephant ears in the They are tricky customers. 11, 12, 13. Okay. Seriously, look at the mouth. They've got sort of teeth on the outside. Strange fish. Strange fish. Quite spiky. Long bit coming off here. Beautiful fish. Let's let her go. One okay. sweet corn, that one. King cup on. Okay, yeah, you alright? Well, that was nice. Mm. Out of the blue, a little left hand rod next to the hyacinth there. A few handfuls of corn thrown in around it, and a little string of corn fish over top of it. And um, just a, didn't even pull the alarm. I just seen the rod top bending, and they're not sort of ferocious takers or feeders, the grammy. So I just swam off with it, picked up, swam off with it. And I, Grabbed it before the alarm went, and um, yeah, it was a bit frantic. I can see what it was. I see the red colours and black flank sort of speckles on it, and I thought, I know what that is. So the legs started twitching a bit. Benji was a legend with the net and uh, managed to uh, slip it under there nice and quickly. Um, set on with rods again now. I uh, had a little Asian red tail which I didn't uh, bother to get on film. Uh, I've slipped that one back, and uh, it's going well. The time is uh, quarter to twelve. So it's, um, yeah, that'll uh, give me a good chance in the, uh, the little under bar best fish of the day prize, but we'll see, see what happens. It's a good start, though. Well, we just reset the rods and had a screaming run off the one that's furthest out. Very strange fighting fish. Good chance it's a swai. Possibly a foul look swai. Feels a bit weird. But, uh, we live in hope. Hit the surface a couple of times. Chance it's something random. Might be worth taking that one out, so please, just in case. Thank you. <clears throat> Another snag. A bit of stick or something. Oh shit, is it a fish? Shit. Red tail. Ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, Dan's here, Dan's here. There was a red tail on the predator rod. Got a double hook here, palm tree lagoon. So uh, this uh, looks like she's got a red tail and Arby's thinks he's got a swire, but he's not sure at the moment. Yeah. Who's going to get in first? Is it? Is it? Nice. Very, uh, very leisurely. Yeah. Good sign. I lost one earlier. Yeah, it's got yeah. Well, we didn't see it, but it was, it was, it did everything that Siamese does. Do you know what I mean? Boy, um, circular boils and jerky. Hey. Jerky movements in the rod. Yeah, we nearly got it in. It was like under the rod tip, and the hook just come out. Well, um, you know, very yeah. often. 
just saying, uh, if you missed that on camera, he uh, just cast it out and in the open water spot. Yeah, I think so. Very strange fight, Oz. But I have seen it. It was a red tail on the predator rod that didn't realise was on there. There he is. Still a big ball of bloody ground bait next to his head, which isn't ideal. Could yeah. Leave other hook out. Like warm today, isn't it? It's warmer today, I think. Hey. It's warmer today, isn't it's it? It's red hot, isn't it? Yeah. Mind you, I was in the shade yesterday, so difficult to tell. There's, this, there's the uh, red tail. Hmm. I'll concentrate on this one now. Yeah. Because it's so hot, you don't want to be chucking every. No, it's hard work. It's like, Go get a sweat on in this weather. It's about 40 degrees today, isn't it? So, yeah, especially with the weather feeding. Yeah. Decent size? I five minutes to guess. It's sort of 50, 60 degrees. Yeah, fine. Better than it was 20 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That first. Oh, you had um, you had a, that elephant egg grammy on the seed yes. rods a minute ago, didn't you? Yeah. What was that on? What bait was it on? This one? Yeah. It's either a pro wafter or pop-up. Or, or pop ups. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on. Ah, no, it's on pop ups. I see them on the surface. Yeah, two, I think. Two, two uh, one and a half pineapple and MB terrace yeah. pop ups, but no. And a shot about two inches from the hook. Yeah, well, I think I've got that on all four rods at the moment. Yeah. Just, that seems to be getting the bites. Rami just came up there and took his breath. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Lovely lake today. Beautiful mountains in the background. Birds singing. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like you. They long to be close to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch it now. You might be a superstar. Is it Superstar, his name? Superstar. Super is it? That's, that's, that's it. Super is that, star. This is a known fish, is it? There's one bit like a, a mark on its side. Okay. Know, a few scales missing. Okay then. There's one called Scar and one called Superstar. Okay. They're waking up. First Julian's for three months, isn't it? I'm doing Julian. Julian, no? Three or four. Three or four months, you get Julian. Superstar one. Oh. Huh? Superstar. Superstar. Oh. And the fish. Warrior. No. no. The one uh, still come over. Oh, superstar. Oh, superstar. Let me not come back yet. Well done. Yeah, superstar. 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 We'll let her go, and then we'll have a little look at a red tail that's uh, at sea around here. Follow me. <laughs> this one's probably 
Got some energy back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Sonny, a young fella. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be possible. You're funny now, I'm not. <laughs> Whoa. He's angry. Go on for a that one. Lovely. Okay. Good work out. Well, I was over there helping Harvey net that Siamese carp he's still playing over there. And this one that's over there, so my right hand side of the peg shot off and it's came up. I came up to the surface a minute ago, I think it's a Julian's. And uh, it's not, the Julian's not been out of here. Yes, it's a Julian's. Julian's not been out of here for three months, so that's awesome. That is awesome, man. She's gonna help me net the fish. Yeah, good fight as well. Nice one. Hold the camera. Cheers. This was on a uh, pineapple and MB Terret sticky bait to pop up. Just popped up literally like a couple of centimetres. Um, so it's you know just off the bottom. So you know, <clears throat> I want to get both both worlds and get the bottom feeding fish with it, like Julian. And uh, also Siamese, the stuff that's just coming down. Sucking everything up. So, and then, nice one. Be careful, it's snagging you. Yeah? Bring him back over there. Yes. I'll come, I'll come back now. Julian! Julian! Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, come on. Okay. Yes. Ready, come up, come up now. Mm, he's Yeah, nice one, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Nice one, mate. Brilliant. Hopefully, I'll be one of a few now. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the first Julian's come out here since Harvey, we yeah. think, had the big one. We'll confirm it with Tim and Sue later. But Harvey, we was here about three or four months ago, and Harvey had that last, that monster. Julian's, which is one of our very recent videos. And yeah, that was the first Julian's to come out since then, so that's nice. Um, here's the rig I got it on. Just a flatbed feeder. Um, and that's a 40 pound braid. Uh, got a little bit of lead there to stop the pop up. That's a size 13. Um, it's a real sharp look, you can see the, the claw on that. And I've just trimmed down um, a pop up, just so it sits flush at the bottom of the bend of the hook. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll whack that back out there. And uh, burger, we've got a burger for lunch. I've been to the burger bar. And uh, yeah, you're very, very welcome. Um, nice. 
It's one o'clock. Been here three hours. Or three and a half hours. It's the second time beating. <laughs> Do you like me food, so it's all good. I love these burgers. I've had these burgers before. There's a burger place near here. The burger's mint. Look at that. It's awesome. Mm. Oh. Very civilised. Getting up well, just come back with my burger. Sue sat down with her burger. I just said, and relax. And the other rod's just gone off with a fish that's very, uh... oh, he's gone. No, he's not. No, he's not. Shit. This is on the uh, krill wafter this time. I think it's another Siamese by the movements. put his Julian's back and we had the superstar on a, re a red tail and then down at his Julian's so a flurry of action right in the middle of the day to uh, give us some hope this fish is out in the middle now giving some funny old movements very strange back in five fish is boiling on the surface now not very far out N not sure. <laughs> nah, it's okay, mate. I, I think it's probably a Siamese fit 50 pounds a mark. Oh, nice fish. It's a warrior. No. <laughs> oh. เอาไปสองวิญญาณเข้ามาไล่อยู่เนี่ยโอ้โหเย็บเมบี้เอ๊ะอย่าโกงหน้าเราอีกหมดว้าว้าเวียดเวียดเวียด <laughs> okay, lovely. That's a very similar size, maybe bigger than the one before. All in about the space of half an hour. Crazy. Bantry Lagoon when it wakes up. It wakes up. Well, that was classic Palm Tree Lagoon. Sort of tough day yesterday, <coughs> tough morning. The elephant Ikarami was a, a particular highlight. And then, bosh, Siamese carp, somewhere in the region of 60 pounds. Red tail on the other rod, put them back. Well, actually, I was just playing it. Dad's rod went off. Julian's, probably approaching 30 pounds. Come back, just about to sit down and have a burger. Bosh, another Siamese carp, 60 pounds. It could easily be the last few bites we have for the day, or it could be the start of something very special. But uh, it is the way it goes here. Um, you literally should never give up hope or never think that it's not gonna happen because just like that, all of a sudden, it's another story and you're on top of the world. Well, oh, just chatting with Oz about his uh, PB Siamese and uh, the furthest out rod, which has got one and a half uh, pineapple and embuteric pop ups on, has gone again. Screamer. By the movement, it feels like another Siamese, more likely. Maybe not, it's swimming at me now.
Oh, fuck it. Yeah. Well, you probably heard that. <laughs> Just came off. Could still be on there. Shit, the rod might gone in, is it? I can't see the rod. Rod's gone in. Tarpon just leaped out of the water four times. I, it was a tarpon, yeah. On a bit of corn. He could he could easily bid like sort of foul looked or or anything gonna happen, but it was definitely a tarpon and there was definitely line coming out of its mouth. It all happens when odds is about. He's left a little rod in the corner where Dan had his yesterday and uh, somehow a tarpon's picked it up or got foul looked on it, but the, the line was definitely coming out of his mouth and I've seen it launch out of the water four times and uh, and the rod's been pulled in, so... Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, mental. Hey, Oz is, Oz is in. Is he still on? Get a net ready. I'm so wing, so wing, so wing. He, he will have come off, won't he? No, hang on. No, he's okay. My have a lie. Have a lie. That was mental. Classic Oswald of the Great at his very best. <laughs> that was mental. It's half two in the afternoon. I'm sitting here looking out on the lake. That's the end peg where I don't think you can see the white hut where Oz is standing now. And this fish just come flying out of the water. There's a tarpon. It must have come out of the water about four or five times, flipping every way but loose. Oz has had to run round to the rod. Unfortunately, I'm not sure what's happened, but it seems to have taken the rod in. So they're just going to go round there now so they can get retrieve the rod, which I'm sure they will do. Uh, I think Harvey's filming it as well, so we get two angles on this. Um, I don't know why I'm laughing, it's not funny at all. Um, oh, I can see who's getting in. Yeah. He's got in. He's got it. Is it on? Oh, a monitor lizard coming along here. All over the place. There's some people out there 15 who haven't used any. Yeah, you know, there's some that have used, you know, free hit and bench boost and the wild card. It, it's, it's completely cool, he's a big bugger. all over the place. So it, it really is that kind of difference between that rigorous plan. Oh, looking straight at me. Or people like me, who just like, it's going to kind of wing it. And I just think you've seen when me. I, when I, as and when I can. And now the bench boost to me is kind of off the table this week. So hmm. I'm going to leave it for And he's gone. <clears throat> just uh, lift the peg for a bit. I'm uh, walking around to see Oz. Uh, he's playing a fish at the moment. He thinks it's a carp, so he's going to have a look. This is where I fished, fished yesterday. The rod's got um, Oz has got a predator rod down here, down there somewhere. I think he's got a bit of mackerel on it today. This is the right-hand bank, by the way. In case you didn't know. Lovely trees hanging down. It's a rod down. Not sure if that's predator or carp rod. Is. Girl guides. Good fight. Yeah, so I think it's moving slowly. Something boily. Uh, the washer is half a pop up, so yeah. it sits up. Nice. Hooks on the deck, but the bait's just. Hovering above it. Lovely. I know. Oh. That's the first time I've sprayed it with my buttermilk. Oh yeah. Nice flavour. I think it's a Siamese, I think. But they're certainly feeding because Harvey's just had a couple. Yeah. Um, just had a Julian's. Okay. The fish are starting to get hungry, I think, which is a good sign yeah. for the afternoon. Day two. Aren't really good. Beautiful. It's lightning has struck twice. Last time I left me swim, it went off and it's gone off again. Okay, nice one. Cheers. Thank you very much. Hey? 
Oh, sorry. Just seen it. I was over there trying to film Ozzy's fish and it went off. It's a cattler. It's tangled, it's tangled up with John's line because it went on a massive long run before. Um, I can't remember her name now. She, she grabbed the rod, but it's already tangled and gone into Harvey's rod, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll get that off. Oh, you can. Look it out. Sorry about that. Yeah. That's one. Wrong. Oh. You take a bit out of the kit. Sorry. Take a bit out of the kit. Put a foot on here. Yeah. Okay. Good. Mm. Drive One, two, three. Up. <laughs> yeah, I've got it. Yeah, That's what I'm having a cat in the car, but I've got a cat for a while. It's really heavy. I don't know what it weighs. It might be a PB, that. I'll we'll have to have a look at it later. Pair it. It's in a beautiful condition fish, man. Lovely condition. Beautiful, look at that. Lovely fish, cat in the car. Smaller mouth than the Siamese. It's probably a couple of other things. I don't know the difference. Lovely. A good time. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Just walking back now to Ozzy's peg and uh, see what he's got. He's got a Siamese or Mekong. What you got, mate? Oz, what you got? You can't hear me. Oh, I was trying to stone these shoes. They're great for going in the water. They're not great for walking on stones because they've got a very, very thin sole. What'd you get, mate? What'd you get? Oh, Siamese, nice one. Lovely big Siamese, mate. Yeah? Nice. Awesome, mate. He's just taking a couple of pounds to eat, Mark. He's got a headache. How big? How big, Sue? How big is it? Um, maybe same size we found up. Okay, but 60 pound, 50 pound. <laughs> that one. Big one. The light's not great. Maybe we step back. Yeah, the light's not great. Maybe 45, 50 kilos. Yeah. 50 kilos? Okay. No. Like that, huh? Maybe. It's about 50 pounds, 60 pounds. Huh? Maybe. Maybe no. 40. It might be 70 pounds. I don't know. It's quite. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I was more worried about the, the camera. Fine. Sorry, Matt. Did you get some? Yeah. Should I try? Did you get some pictures? No, I haven't taken a picture yet. Can somebody take my phone? Two sets. Yeah, I'll get someone else. Send them to you. Going off. I need to set my rod up. Get it back out there. Oz, is just had a fish. We don't know how big exactly, but it's big. I'd say 70 pounds. Nice one, Oz. Well done, mate. <laughs> well, uh, why you can look? Uh, well, we thought it was a swire, so we didn't bother filming it. But as the fight's gone on, he can't get his head up. It's very, it's very staying very deep. Um, so I reckon it might be a Siamese. It's just going around in circles at the moment. There you go. So it's a swire. <laughs> okay, cut. Let's cut the tea. It's uh, five to four in the afternoon, day two. Have a look at the lake. Lovely wind. Probably breeze has picked up. I've just, um, I'm, I like to eat. I've had, uh, I got, I got here two hours late. Had breakfast. Had a burger for lunch, but I'm still a bit hungry. Um, so I've ordered a pad seal, chicken, which is lovely. It's like a flat noodle, with chicken and vegetables. Um, I had one yesterday. Um, Cause I'm a little bit hungry, and uh, I'm gonna get on the beer after that. I think so. 
don't want to be getting on the beer and I'm a little bit hungry because I'll probably get pissed quicker. See the wind coming in, pushing in now. Lovely breeze here. Still got one rod in that bay there. Where the, that's where the Julians have had one bite there today. That's the Julians. Um, this rod here is out in the middle and I've, all I've had is uh, a swine, two mollicot on that. I've lost a couple of fish that I think were um, swine or mollicot as well. Um, I've seen a load of blowing in close here, so I've just dropped one in close. Just to see if I can get a quick bite on that. Um, I will go back on that spot shortly as well. Um, and then um, this rod here, this is what I had a Siamese on earlier. Well, I lost the Siamese. Pretty 99% sure it was a Siamese. Hook just pulled out of it. And that's on the one just off the aerator. Um, Oh, I had a cat lot. Sorry, I had a cat lot on that one as well. The long rod. Oh, I've been bitten by something. And then I've got another rod. You know, you make, pick, make it out on the camera. The other side of that hyacinth bed, just right in, in close. Just on a pop up. Literally only popped up a, a, about a centimetre. Just a well, or just a hair really, if you like. And a little bit more. Um, but nothing on that. And it's been around there about half an hour, 45 minutes now. So, hmm, I've not had a bite on that rod all day. I've had it straight down here i've had it straight off those bamboo bits there i had it off that boat three or four times and i put loads of bait in there kept putting ground bait in as well nothing so yeah that was a bit of a quandary at the moment um gone a bit quiet Avi just had lost a, a swai i think about 20 minutes ago and also has gone a bit quiet over there since he had that big siamese and lost a um, tarpon which took corn, sweet corn, which is a bit, a bit mad. See it jumping out of the water. Um, so we've got about two hours and a bit of light left today. We've got a football tonight, so that'd be good. Watch that. Lovely and hot, stinking hot day. Oh, nice breeze. Uh, just need a few more quality fish. We've had a few, a few quality fish already, to be, to be fair. Um, yeah, let's go have a look at this one. My base camp, if you like. The pub there. Got two mixes. I had a lum mix here. I've already wetted this, and then I can just refill my proper mix. And then in here, I've got crumb, lum, maquit. I've got about four four kilos. Well, I did have about four kilos of a seed mix in here as well. Salt in it, and uh, and I put the, instead of using water to wet the mix, I've used liquidized corn as well. So there's lots of attraction in there. It's lovely and sticky. You can see that it sticks together. Nice one. I've got a, so a pad seal turn up. That's uh, it's like a flat noodle, chicken, um, different vegetables in there, chili. I'm gonna eat that. Nice. Well, Oz is over there, he smashed his uh, Siamese carp he beat, and um, he's just had another one, not sure how big, it looked like a good fish. And I thought I'd just uh, check a few bits of chicken in the little corner here, and uh, see if I can catch a, a predator that I've never caught before, but um, I think the red tails are ravenous. Fish on! Nice fight, snag me. Oh, he's a dark one, isn't he? Black belly. I'll get in. I'll get in the water service, okay? Hmm. Okay. Long dam.
<laughs> They're heavy. They're heavy. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Black belly. They're so. They look so well in here. Beautiful fish. Absolutely gorgeous. Go on, mate. See you later. It's 18 minutes past five. We've just bought us around some pineapple. Very nice, very nice, very sweet. Just enjoying that. Um, I had a rod in this bay. That's where the Julian's on, but I actually had one bite on that all day. Getting towards the time now where I'm just going for Siamese carp, really. So I've moved. This rod's been on the same spot all day, just out there in the middle. And I've moved this one. I've seen a few Julian's rolling in the last sort of half an hour in this area here, out here. So I'm just going to keep that. That's going to stay there for the rest of the day now. That's out towards uh, the aerator there. Um, what's I saying different with this rod? This rod was in the margins around the corner and it was fishing in the margins here. The margins down here haven't had a bite on it all day. So I've just gone a little underarm flick just about 10 meters out. And I'm going to leave that there for the rest of the session now. See if I can get something. Not many, well, I don't think many people fish that close in here, so you never know. Might pick up something different or a carp or something. Give it a go. And then this rod has been on the same spot all day, just off the aerator out there. Um, I think I've only had one fish on that as well, so yeah. But that's it for me for the rest of the day. About two hours, 40 minutes of fishing to go, and we've got football tonight. Bit of a vibe as well, a few drinks. I'm going to have a beer in a minute actually, so. Uh, I'll eat a bit of that, a few bits of that uh, pineapple, and then I'll uh, have a beer. There's a lovely mountain up there. Looks lovely this time of day in the light. For the trees. Lovely breeze most of the day, most of the afternoon we've had here. Didn't really turn the fishing on. Did we had a few spells earlier where the carp started feeding. Oz has had a couple of carp, I think. John's had a couple of carp. I've lost one. Um, got a bit of a pain in the back at the moment. I've got to go painkiller so hopefully that'll go away soon yeah. we'll get a nice big fish in there <sighs> double hook up predator rods gone <laughs> that's okay i'll be alright soon i'll be okay that's okay. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. I'll be alright. I do this. You, you, you take care of that one. He's there. Oh, what a big swai. Cracking swai that. Okay. Salween Rita? Oh. <laughs> he swam out in the middle. We'll get him over. Oh fuck. Retail number, might be number 10, I'm not sure, somewhere like that. Oh shit, <laughs> there we go, it's there. There she is, another 40 pound plus red tail. <sighs> oh. That was hard work. Swine a red tail. Yeah, super. That's a red tail. Number 10. Tired. Hmm. It's uh, about quarter to seven now. Literally just getting dark. Look at that. The moon, the full moon. Well, it's actually a full moon tomorrow, but nearly a full moon. It's a big one. Just coming up over the, that mountain or hill there at the moment. I just had another swai. 
I was had a couple of fish over there recently, I'm not sure what they were. Let's just see Harvey sitting down over there. Could do a nice big Siamese, that would be very nice. Very welcome. There you go, we've had a cheeky red tail. Take the uh, chicken off the little corner. Be number 11 if we get this one. That's uh, probably averaged somewhere mm, not far off 40 pounds. So that's, that's 400 and odd pound of fish just with red tails. Amazing. Oh, that's so strong. It's nearly home. She is not a monster, but oh, it's a pretty good fish. Two fish, just between 40 and 50 pound. <laughs> Mental, isn't it? Brilliant. Football's on. Tottenham struggling. We've all got Tottenham players in our team. It doesn't matter. We've got pork chop, yeah. chips, some sauce, and three hungry men. Yeah, yeah for a cracking day. Seat. Uh, just put your best fish forward, your big carp, shoe yeah. and the piranha. Yeah. Don't tell him who caught them, just say these are the fish that submitted. Yeah, he might, might be uh, favourably influenced towards me because he likes fish so much. <laughs> TV. Sorry, mate, bit late. How you doing? Ah, oh, it's alright then. Oh, nice one. We've just had our pork chops, every shit up. Yeah, they're gone in 60 seconds, like, like uh, Nicholas Cage. Pop it there, pop it there. Oh, bright green shirt on. Yeah, there he is, yeah. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Tim. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers, all the best. <laughs> Blow the top of a couple of cold ones. Yeah. Cobber. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got a little bit. Uh, well, I won the lot. We had that flurry of action in the middle of the day, and then after that, um, Dan had a cattler. Um, just after that, it was sort of still during that period, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, but then uh, a few swai, I ended up with 11 red tails for about £450, I reckon, uh, after adding it up. And uh, I'm going to be stiff tomorrow. Um, Oz had a PB Siamese, another one about £50, £60. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, Dan had uh, a Julian's, uh, a Catler, five swai, a couple of Molochot, I think. Yeah. Uh, so Dan's putting his uh, sort of probably 30 pound Julian's forward as a uh, 30 uh, 28, 28 nah, no it's more than that it's about 35 <laughs> 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 hey. um, yeah Oz's best fish with his big Siamese and then uh, there was an elephant here Garami landed so it's uh, a bit trickier than yesterday thankfully um, but uh, yeah we'll, we'll uh, hey The tarpon would have won it, yeah, the rod puller. Yeah. Ah, that was ridiculous. Where's the first Julian's out for about six months, isn't it? Yeah, uh, Dan's, put, uh, Dan's pushing his case for the Julian. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike actually, is that, it's a question. Uh, the last Julian's did come out. Was that the one Harvey caught, a big one? Or has there been out, any out since then? Mac. Uh, he was trying to remember, he said like three, four months. That's it. Yeah. yeah, they're not that special, yeah. man. <laughs> Brilliant. Was it was it a PB? No. No. Well yeah, my my cart was a PB. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, PB. yeah. And yeah. my first one out of this thing. Um, so yeah, we'll let, we'll let you decide, Tim. We won't try and influence you anymore. I've not even said anything about it. Ah, oh, fair enough, mate. Yeah, What's that? I did go with the elephant here. Oh. Fair enough. Probably pissed it, didn't it? 
Uh, this is making good film. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Making good film. Elef to be fair, like I say, Elephant Garamas don't come out much, do No. I've never caught one. No. I'm sure I've ever seen one. So. No. Oh, the, the full moon struck again. We had a cracking day. Uh, the, 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 moon, the moon rose, but he didn't get another bite. No. 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 Don't forget that. Bit. I, I I I don't know actually. I reckon it might have been a PB. Yeah, it was it was it was. <laughs> I don't know. What was my PB? Thirty four pound, I think. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I reckon it was probably touching the mid thirties. I reckon it was heavy. Do you know what I mean, it was dense. We we'll have to have a look oh, at the footage. That was lovely fish. I love catlers. Oh, well, oh yeah, we'll try and work out if it's one of Warren's or one of the. Oh, well, I thought you were talking about it might be one of the, the best fish of the day, like. No, no, no. <laughs> anyway. Firstly, he'll be a little choppy stone. He's still clutching at straws yeah. here, and uh, yeah. he'll, he'll end up drinking his beer with him, I reckon, these straws. <laughs> <laughs> we just watched Tottenham get beat as well, so that'll cheer you up. So, uh, Arsenal's got a chance of four spot there. They got beat by, Tottenham got beat by Brighton 1 0. Bit of a shock at home as well. We just watched the end of that. It's okay, because uh, I believe Arsenal got beat by Brighton. They did, yeah, but now you've got the two games in hand. I think you can be three points clear of them if you win the two games in yeah, hand. Yeah, the league table flashed up. I've, I've missed it. Yeah, they're on 57, okay. but you've got, you're on 54, but they, you've got two games in hand. One of those okay. is Chelsea, I think. Decide the title. Yeah, yeah well, it might be all over by then if Arsenal <laughs> lose the next five. North London title. <laughs>